In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can share games on Steam with Steam Family. Before we do dive into this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help with the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. But if you want to go ahead and game share here on Steam, here's how you can do it. From the top menu, go ahead and find this little Steam button right here, select it, and then scroll down and select settings just like so. In this page, go ahead and find the interface settings and then go ahead and find the client beta participation option and go ahead and select this and choose Steam Beta Update. It's gonna ask you to restart Steam, go ahead and hit restart now, and wait for it to update. Now while it's updating, if you don't see that option, don't worry, the option might already be out of beta and be enabled by default. So if you don't, so if you don't see that, don't stress. But you may now notice that Steam looks just a little bit different. Don't really worry about it, it's nothing too different. What you're gonna wanna do now though, is find your profile up in the top and go to account details right here. On this left hand side right here, find family management, go ahead and select it. And here you can either choose to create a family or join one. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and create one. I'm gonna enter in the family name and then hit create. And as you can see, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. What you're gonna wanna do now is invite members. Now when inviting, you are going to need to choose whether to invite them as an adult or a child. Child accounts are gonna have parental controls and restrictions, but to share games without restrictions, obviously invite them as an adult. So search through your friend list, choose who you wanna go ahead and invite. We're gonna say this guy, for example, invite him as an adult and hit invite one more time. And as you can see, once he accepts that invite, he'll now be a part of the family. Now, whoever is accepting this invite is going to need to have Steam families also enabled and be a part of the same household on their profile. Once again, navigate to their account details by clicking on it on the top right, hitting account details, and they're gonna see under family management, that invite right there. Just keep in mind, once you do join a family, you have to wait one year before joining another. Now, once you do get them in there, head over to your library tab up in the top right, and games that can be shared are actually going to appear here. Just as you can see, it's about the majority of the games. Not every single game is going to allow you to be able to be shared, but it is like 99% of them. Some games are gonna show a number down at the bottom. This is gonna be how many copies the family owns, and that's also the a number of people who can actually play the game at the same time. If two family members own the game, then two people can play it at the same time. And if a third person tries to play it, they're not gonna be able to play because only two copies exist. But yeah, it really is as simple as that. If you guys do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us down in the comment section below. Before you do leave this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. We'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.